Hey guys, Jersey Raper here from NR Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a Madden tutorial. Yes, a Madden tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to how I snipe some tricks and some filters as well. Um, so the first thing you need before you start sniping is obviously the game. But besides that, you need to check your internet connection. So you have to go to the Ookla Speed Test. It's an app on the Android, I'm not sure if it's on Apple, but it should be. I don't see why it would not. So what you want to do is begin test. It will come up just like that. And it's going to test your ping. The lower your ping, the better. So 9, that's amazing ping. And right now, my download speed's not terrible. But it's not the best, but it will still work. Now, a little note to the side. When your download speed is pretty high like that, your upload speed isn't as high. It will go around that uh, height towards the end of its drive or towards the middle rather but it starts off slow and in in the range about half of what you got before for your download speed so you can see my nine ping that's great download speed is great upload speed's not bad usually i get like a point or i'll show you my results from other days um see the where's i don't know where my nine one is oh in the bottom I don't know where my 9 ping went. I think... Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't count that for now. Um, but anyways, uh, see, my previous test was uh, 10 ping with upload speed of 3.43 and my download speed of 5.8. So the higher these numbers are, the better. And the lower your ping is the best. So right now, if you have a good connection like me, you're set to snipe. So first of all, you want to start off easy if you're new to sniping. So you, what you want to do is go to the auction, search, and here's your first filter. Pay attention. Gold player. This is super simple. There's a lot of people who use it, but it's my favorite method. It's kind of a modification of it. Not a lot of people. I You could do 100 to 1,000 if you feel like it, but I usually go for 1,000 because it narrows down the search. And then you want to go to wide receiver, tight end, and sometimes they do QB, sometimes they don't. Depends on the day. And if I fail, but see, um, a lot of stuff here. So, what you want to do is now pay attention to the taps on the screen right here. You see, it's right here on Greg Jennings. All right. So what you want to do is you want to click this and tap four times, but you want to do this in rapid succession so it doesn't like lag and you do it like this. So as soon as it comes up, you want to you want to repeatedly click with your right thumb the refresh button but you want to do it even faster with your left thumb and you want to put it around you can either go first slot which is right here on this numbers or you could go on the current bid and buy now for second slot or a little a glitch i found out recently if while it's loading you slide your cursor or, or your whatever you scroll it'll take you to the end right away See, if you see how it didn't end up in the beginning, like over here, it will put me over here. So whenever the thing comes out, I could get an end start, and then you could just work your way there. You'll be faster than anyone else to that side. And then you could work your way from the back and to the front, and you probably get most of the snipes until people start going there, too. Um, Ratings for, for me, I usually snipe um, any rating, but... If you're new, I recommend 70 to 75, and then when you're really comfortable about sniping, it's 70 to 80. I think that's the highest gold. And, um, yeah, so you want to also pay attention to the times. Usually it's, it's at 0 and 5, which that what that means is, you see how it's like 130 right there? That means it's going to come out pretty soon. Usually it's either around uh, 0 and 5 or 1 and 6. So batches come out every 5 minutes. So on the, just for the next one, if it comes out at 1.30, the next one will be at 1.35. But if it comes out at 1.31, it will be at 1.36. It's every five minutes. See, there we go. So it's at 1.30, and you can just keep s sniping. See, look at that. That guy got it. Look at that. You can just grab. Look at that. Oh, sometimes this happens. That's annoying. Also annoying whenever it happens to other people. Cause then you click on it thinking uh, uh, you didn't, someone didn't get it because the numbers are still there. See, like this. It looks like no one bought it, and you click here, and it already has my bid right there. And it'll 
come up this and it slows you down from getting the rest of them. So right there, I just picked up a one. Let's see, one, two. I'm pretty sure I got more than two. Really, I only got two. Okay. And then after that, what you want to do with these players is that you want to go to. Well, you could do anything. You could resell them for like about two k each. You'll sell. Um, or you can put it in the set. And when you get the set, perfect enough. I only need two. I'll keep this one. Put it in this other set. Put it real to playoffs. But see, you have ten gold players, and you trade it in for ten trophies. You click that, and you open them, and maybe if you're lucky, you'll get an elite trophy. But my luck doesn't look like it's coming anywhere near an elite trophy. Okay, yep, one gold trophy. That was a bust. But what you could do with that gold trophy is, let's see. Where's my other stuff? Uh, here, flashback. You can either put sets like that, or when you have four gold trophies, you can go over into the large quick sells. And look at that, you're already a couple of bronze in there. Uh, just, this is going to take a while, just scrolling through all my bronze trophies. Um, Alright, oh wait, I just passed it, okay. So we'll put these gold trophies in, as so. What time is it? Alright. I have a lot of time to next snipe. And large quick sell. And sometimes you get something really good. Look, 5k. Uh, it could have been worse. Definitely could have been better. But this is just a tutorial for you guys. Sometimes you get good stuff. Like I pulled 500k out of here. I also pulled a 500k out of uh, a scrimmage. So do scrimmages if you have extra stamina. Um, and now's the perfect time because all the live events are pretty much, well, besides the Road to the Riches one, which I always seem to get, like, less than 5k each time. So, you're probably better off just doing scrimmages because you could take those, and if you get, like, a gold, um, trophy, that's great. If you get a silver or a bronze player, you can put it in this set down here to get, um, gold players with the silver or a bronze with two silver. Sorry, um, um, let's see, so our next sniping filter, this one I sort of use all the time, you want to want about 10k, and really what you want is like 80 to 85, right, yeah, and see these two guys come out from that, from that, some last batch, so, we're, we're going to wait until 134, but in the meantime, we can check out my bench um, of all the things I sniped before. Um, let's see, I claim that, get 10k. Look at all these things I sniped. I actually claimed some of them. The Elite Tro- or not Elite, um, what's it called? Uh, the League set. I actually thought it was just going to be like a normal League set when you complete Leagues. And speaking of Leagues, we are actually in a League tournament. I think we are losing. No, actually, we're winning. They actually took the drives. Okay, congrats, guys. Oh, look at almost everyone used their class. I just have two of my attacks or drives. Oh, actually, I actually have three accounts to drive on. Okay. So, anyway, I'm pretty sure we got this because I'll use those later. Uh, I still have seven hours. All right, so let's go to auctions. Internet's still looking pretty good. I that little uh, thing up there. Oh, just went down to three. Oh, right, let's back up to four. Hopefully it'll stay like this, and hopefully I didn't cover the mic on all this video, because I, I usually tend to do that, and it's kind of annoying, because then you can't really hear me that well, so that's why I'm trying to just use my uh, left hand to hold my phone, but it's kind of hard when you're playing Madden Mobile to do that. Um, So, here, you're going to do the same strategy, except you want it a little faster. So, as soon as the player comes up, you want to hit that, but you have to make sure, look at the green, don't even, you don't have to look at the... Um, you see where it says item sold? You want to look there, and whenever the numbers come there, that that's when you don't click with your right thumb. The refresh button. Oops, I screwed up there. Can I get it? Hey, look at that. Live snipe. 85 safety. Calvin Pryor. Pr Pryor, yeah. <laughs> 1,399. Oh, 1,399 coins. Um, so that would be great. I actually had 600,000 coins the other day, because I was spending a lot. On um, well, well, actually, I had 200k on this account and I had 400k on my uh, other account, and then um, on my mini account, and then I just transferred coin because I need it because I'm trying to get 
Bo Jackson, because who wouldn't want Bo Jackson? I mean, just look at his stats. He's amazing. Look at this. Plus two trucking, too. Look at that. 97 speed, 100 acceleration. Like, he'll take off like a bullet. The only thing bad is a 72 catch, but who catches with their halfbacks? Or running backs, whatever you want to call them. Um, maybe you can also do this. Okay. Or right, actually, maybe not. Actually, this morning they had a... Oh, actually, I can This morning they had, like, a blitz event for the snowflakes, but it's not out again. So, I'm not sure what they're doing with that. I think it, I think it was a one-time thing, maybe once a day, or... So, I don't know. It'd be stupid to have... Oh, look at that. Perfect. I need one more, and I could get another elite player, and then eventually I could get this ghost, and then... I might have to just buy the because it's cheaper to buy all this uh, ghost and stuff than to actually buy Bo Jackson. So if you guys are looking to buy Bo Jackson, I wouldn't waste your time on that or and coins. I would just because you could save a good. Let's see, he goes for about one point five and takes this takes about one point one. And assuming that you since you didn't do it yet, you have a lot of things completed for him. Like I have like almost three elites. So when you do that. You're probably shedding off about 100k right there. So with that 100k extra, you can save up for the next live event, which I think it's the Super Bowl. If I'm not, oh, actually, do they have? I want to say it's for the Super Bowl because I don't think they would do anything for New Year's. But yeah, kind of dropped my phone. If you're wondering what happened, um, so yeah, that's my sniping tutorial. So rule one: make sure you have. Nice connection, nice steady connection. You don't want to use your LTE unless your LTE is really good, which most of the time it's not. So you always want to use your Wi-Fi. And if your Wi-Fi is not working too well from where you are, change your location, sit next to your router, whatever. Um, that's and it's only that's because <laughs> words when you when you sit next to your router, you have a Shorter distance, so it doesn't lose as much energy. Yes, I know it's a science uh, lesson. I'm going to try to keep sh uh, short. But pretty much uh, your walls and stuff in your house, like furniture or whatever, can interfere with the signals and making it weaker. So you might want to sit in more open area or like open your doors or something like that. So the Wi-Fi could f uh, roam f uh, freely toward your location. And if it's not strong enough, you might want to try, like, uh, I don't know, resetting your router. That helps sometimes. But, uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, sniping tutorial, and catch you guys later.